Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is a part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2007. So we are here with this problem 2 of your paper. So let us firstly have a look on this question. What it says. So it is saying that if k is a constant such that xy plus k is equal to e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 satisfies the differential equation. So this is your differential equation. Then question is asking us about the value of the k for which this is the solution of that differential equation. Okay. So firstly what I will do, I will just modify this differential equation in order to get a familiar differential equation. And after that I will tell you what I am talking about. So now let us start. So what we have, we have this kind of differential equation that is given to us, right? x dy by dx is equal to x square minus x minus 1 times of y plus x minus 1. Now see if you will divide by x both sides then what will happen okay dy over dx okay assuming x to be non-zero that's why I am dividing okay and take this term to the left side then what will happen you will get x minus 1 minus 1 over x right is equal to uh, 1 minus 1 over x this is what you will get right now if you will consider this whole thing as px and this whole thing as qx Okay. I should mention that I am doing this when x is non-zero. So we are getting this kind of differential equation here, right? Now what uh, you know if you have studied your differential equation course properly then you must have studied this differential equation. This differential equation is known as linear differential equation and for a linear differential equation we have a very easy way direct result to uh, to get that solution are you getting my point or not so we have a direct result to get this solution and that is what i will show you so now let us read this note that we have regarding linear differential equation what it says it says a differential equation of this type where p and q are continuous function in some neighborhood is called a linear differential equation and its solution is given like this. So we have a direct result for the solution of a linear differential equation. That means in this case also we can directly solve. So according to your result what we can write, we can write directly our solution. So what it is, so our solution will be like this y dot e to the power p dx and what is your p this is your p so integration of minus i am taking this minus outside what we have x minus 1 minus 1 by x dx on the right hand side you have an integration of this qx 1 minus 1 over x i will put a bracket around it and you ha again have this integration okay actually this thing is known as the integrating factor if you have read your work properly but that doesn't matter if you remember the formula that is okay for us uh, x minus 1 minus 1 by x dx right now this x minus 1 what will be the integration of x minus a x minus a integration is x minus a whole square over 2 okay i am taking these two things together because in your solution you have that part also just look at your solution e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 for which you have to find out the value of k that means you cannot take this as x what i mean to say that you cannot write this as x square over 2 after integrating and minus x okay okay that is okay i am not saying that you you can't do in that way but if you will do 
if you will consider this x minus 1 as a single term then that will help you in a very good way are you getting my point or not what i mean to say i will repeat everything that this x you cannot treat as single quant uh, single element and integrate this x as x square over 2 and this minus 1 as minus x are you getting my point because that will uh, take you to uh, some different way and that will, that is a long way to solve this question so just uh, take this as a single quantity because that that uh, that is all, all that is okay for us so this will be integration will be x minus 1 whole square over 2 and minus thing is also there and from here you will get plus log x right okay now on the right hand side you will get the same thing because the integration is same so you will get uh, 1 minus 1 over x and here you will get e to the power minus x minus 1 whole square over 2 and plus log x will be there dx right now what you can do you can just separate this plus from here Are you getting my point so you will separate then what you will get you will get e to the power log x here and this we can erase this minus here are you getting my point or not we can actually erase this minus or uh, not minus sorry plus sign okay let me erase it properly okay so now it's okay on the right side i will do the same thing why i am doing this thing you will get this thing okay so what you are getting now you are getting okay you are getting e to the power log x also here so see this e to the power log x that you have you know its value what is e to the power log x e to the power log x is actually x that is what you know so you will get x y dot e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 is equal to uh, here you will get x and that x i will cancel from here so what you are getting here is x minus 1 e to the power minus times of x minus 1 whole square over 2 now we just need to integrate this what you have to do you have to take this thing as t and if you will take this thing as t you will get minus times of x minus 1 are you getting my point or not so after integrating i am writing that term here okay this is now a very easy integration a class 12th integration you have to just consider this as your t and then after that you can integrate so i will erase this for a moment and just write the solution okay so what's your solution after integrating what you will get you will get here uh, e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 plus some constant uh, I, I would write c here okay then i will tell you why i have written c so what you can do you can just divide e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 both side then what will happen you will get x y so here you will get 1 okay okay so there is also a minus here okay i forgot to write this minus so you will get x y plus 1 i am taking that on the left side and on the right side you are getting minus x minus 1 whole square over 2 okay so this is what uh, okay this is what i am getting okay okay there is a okay i'm sorry there is also a minus here in the power there is my minus here and here also uh, there is a minus so you are getting things like this okay so if you will okay now x minus 1 whole square over t everything is all right uh, yes everything is all right i think so okay now there is a problem here of oh, plus okay okay now it's good so now this for now for the for a moment this is your solution right now i will tell you how to select your correct answer okay 
so for that thing uh, let me choose my pen okay so now see in your solution part what you have x y plus k e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 this is what your question says that this thing is your solution okay now if i place my c the constant that i have if i place that c to be 1 if i place my c this constant to be 1 okay the solution that i have i will write here what's my solution x y plus 1 is equal to c e to the power x minus 1 whole square over 2 this is my solution that i have obtained from the uh, formula of linear differential equation now what I am saying that if I place my c is equal to 1 then I get the same result as it is given in the in your question are you getting my point or not only problem is this one instead of this one we have this k here that means your k should be 1 in order to match it with our solution of are you getting my point or not so if you place your k to be 1 that then it turns out to be your solution that if your k is 1 then you can say that this thing is your solution okay because you have proved it are you getting my point or not so that means this is your correct answer okay and we don't need to check remaining options because it's a mcq question for k is equal to 1 you have proved that it's your solution are you getting my point or not so you don't need to check these options okay so this is how we should proceed in exam okay are you getting my point so thank you